We're opening Ultimate Masters, the Ultimate Master Set. Let's go. Okay, so we've got the Ultimate Masters box right here. Um, why don't we go ahead and crack this thing open? Oh, look at all of this. Oh God. Okay, so first layer of packaging, second layer of packaging. Thanks, wizards. Oh my God. Get in there. All right, whatever. All right, box topper. Uh, that's for the box topper video. Stay tuned for that. Now let's pull out all of these packs. So it's a master set, so we have 24 packs in here. Oh, and look at that art. So we've got, we've got all those heavy hitters. We've got Karn, we've got Lily of the Veil, Vengevine. Looks like that's all the pack art for us today. So let's start off with the first pack of Ultimate Masters right here, using a pair of scissors, because we care about our cards. Ripping it open. And right, let, right away I see a token in the front, so I'm not sure what the order of these cards are yet. So token, zombie token. We've got our foil in the front, and oh wow, holy crap. First pack, Tarmogoyf. Would you look at that? Just get a good shot of that. Look at that new art, that is so cool looking. That is nightmarish. And we've got a Sky Wing Avian as our foil. So let's go through the uncommons. We've got a Kitchen Fink, Spirit Cairn, and a Mystic Retrieval. And let's quickly go through these commons. Runic Snag, Spider Umbra. Nice to see the Umbra's come. Oh, Fume Spitter. I remember this guy from my first standard ever, Scars of Mirrodin. And take a look at that dude. But highlight of this first pack, definitely the Tarmogoyf. Quickly going through everything. Ingot Chewer also in the common slot. That's pretty awesome. All right, pack two. Let's see what we get in here. So pack one is a Tarmogoyf. That's pretty, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Pays for the pack. <laughs> oh man. Little bit more on scissor front. There we go. Oh man, there we go. So pack two, we got a nice ooze token in the front. Put our tokens over there. Foil spider umbra. Take a look at that foil. That's really nice. Really good work on the foils this set. And we've got a squee as our rare. Check out that bad boy. There, there he is in his little squeeze toy. Let's throw them into the rare pile and quickly rifle through these uncommons. We've got unburial rights in the uncommon slot. That's awesome. That's a great reprint. Put those there. Now let's take a look at these commons. Bloodflow Connoisseur. That's great art. I absolutely love that. Prey Upon. That's going to be sweet. This is going to be an absolutely sweet card in limited. Prey Upon. So pretty good removal. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's move on to our next pack of Ultimate Masters. The Ultimate Master Set. And probably gonna be our last Master Set for a while. You know, Wizards has expressed that they are slowing down the rate in which they print these things. Homunculus and a Foil Revelark. Foil Rare, holy crap. So Foil Revelark and take a look at our regular Rare. Celestial Colonnade, that's amazing. What is that, like an $80 card right now? That's crazy. Uh, you can pick up that at harrytarantula.com on our Crystal Commerce web store once the, all, once the set is released. Uh, so we got Blast of Genius, Rise from the Tides, and Brazen Scourge as our uncommons, pretty sweet. I'm just quickly riffling through those commons. Oh, Basking Rootwalla, that guy is sweet. Oh, and Hooting Mandrels. Oh, that's a sweet Delve card. That's going to be awesome and limited. I'm excited for this set. Um, let's see, on Ultimate Masters release weekend, we are also going to be firing drafts the entire weekend. It's a $50 draft, I believe. $50, right, Rich? Uh, yeah, it's, so we're going to start at, uh, actually Friday morning at 12.01 a.m. with our first uh, release draft. And uh, I'm super excited about that because not only 
Why be running the draft? We'll be able to get to play the draft as well. So. So you heard that. We're starting our first draft at 12 a.m. on the Friday. Uh, Drake token as our first token. That's pretty sweet. Look at that bad boy. That's going in my Talran Sky Summer deck when I have a chance. Nightbird clutches as our uncom or as our common foil. Yeah, common foil. So the so that dude in the foil pile. And Seismic Assault as a rare. Discard a land card and deal two damage to any target. Not the spiciest thing, but you know what? Not the worst. Firewind Phoenix, Swift Reckoning, and Sleight of Hand. Hello, Tron players. Excited for that one. As our uncommons. And moving on to our common. Fiery Temper, Aether Snide, to Marauders, Gnomes, Mark of the Vampire. Some pretty sweet stuff in here. All right, let's move on to our next pack, a Karn pack this time. But yeah, as Rich was said, uh, saying, we're going to be firing Ultimate Masters drafts the entire weekend. So look forward to that. Uh, you can find more info on our event calendar, hharryt.com slash events. Uh, zombie token, foil reviving rapers, and a Woodfall Primus as a rare. You know, not the spiciest thing in the world, but you wanna? Not bad, not bad. Fecundity, Buried Alive, and Penumbra Worm. Not bad. Treasure Cruise in the common slot. That's crazy, considering that is a banned card in most formats. But you wanna know it? Still an awesome pre reprint. I love seeing powerful cards like that in limited formats. And honestly, just like, I, I didn't even get a chance to look at the full set spoiler during the spoiler season because I was busy and I kind of wanted to like treat myself once the set came out and actually you know like have fun opening the packs so seeing that as a common is going to be awesome when it comes to drafting so f uh, foil blood flow connoisseur throw that into the foil pile and containment priest as our rare take a look at that girl she is awesome in limited she's or not limited in legacy even just a great all-around card. Uh, originally printed in Commander, I believe. Uh, so Songs of the Dam, Conflagurate, and Merang River Prowler as our uncommons. And moving on to a commons, Mad Prophet, Think Twice. That's an awesome card. Uh, Mimicking Slime, Demir Guildmage. He's pretty cool. All right, moving on to our next pack. So we've already seen a Tarmogoyf. We've already, we've already seen a Celestial Colonnade. I want to see that through the through the breach. That that's an awesome card, both from like a lore perspective. Oh man, I'm already excited. Merit Latch as our token, she's awesome. Comes from an awesome card, awesome combo deck. Um, so foil Aether Snipe and a Ruined Halo as our rare. Okay, not not the through the breach, but still not bad. That's a sweet commander commander card. Even has like. See some modern play as a sideboard card for white decks. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So Swift Reckoning, Garner the Blood Flame. First time she was printed with her new legendary creature border, I believe. Uh, those are our uncommons. Moving on, we got Mad Prophet, Archaeomancer, awesome EDH card right there. Shred Weakness, Dark Dabbling, Wicked Brown Elder. Mark of the Vampire, Faithless Looting, awesome reprint, awesome card. Sees a lot of modern play. Safe Hold Elite, Conviction, and Generator Servants. Sweet, sweet. Bad. Absolutely love, love to see like a foil copy of that through, through the Breach. Because not only is the card extremely powerful, sees a lot of play in different formats, that art is so fantastic where it's Nahiri through the Breaching Emrakul. Like, not only do you see that a lot in, like, tournament play where you threw the Breach and Emrakul, but, like, that's such a relevant thing in the lore. Oh, man, check that out. Foil Rare, Glen Alondra Archmage. That's an awesome card. He's, he's a fairly decent amount of modern play, but, man, that foiling is just nice. We got a Thespian Stage as our rare. Awesome land from Gatecrash originally, I believe. I absolutely love the flavor for that card. Uh, Fiend Hunter, Rally the Peasants, and Ghoul Steed as our uncommons. Faith's Feathers, Whirlwind Adept, awesome, absolutely awesome commons here. I'm, I'm in love with this set. Oh, Rakdos Shred Freak, he is my boy. Played a lot of him back in his standard. I played Mono Black that standard. Um, RTR Theros, the Mono Black deck was definitely topped here. 
I played the uh, more budget version because I didn't have that many cards to work with. But you want to know, he still counts for that double black devotion. Ooh, so fairy rogue token. And holy crap, foil, foil young pyromancer. That's amazing. Look at that, dude. He's there. He's already, he's ready to summon some elementals. I'm excited. He's excited. We're all excited. Revelark as a rare and moving on to our uncommons, miraculous recovery, travel preparations, and furnace celebration. Awesome, awesome cards. And let's just quickly go through those uncommons or those commons. Okay, first of all, Wild Mongrel did not even know that this dude was in the set. That guy is a beast in Legacy. You just keep pitching cards and he gets big. Totally awesome win condition in some reg, rug builds for Legacy. Let's just clean up these cards a bit. Oh man. We're almost halfway through that first box, so let's go ahead and slice open another pack. Um, opening that Tarmogoyf though, that was pretty spicy. First rare, first pack of the box. Rip, rip open that Tarmogoyf right away. Oh man, so let's see. So Spark Elemental as our, as our token. High Priest as our foil. And a Golgari Grave Troll. Holy crap, I have never even seen this art before. This is brand new art. Look at that dude. He is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. And he's a beast. A beast in dredge decks. So Mage Ring Network, Become Admins, and Grave Strength as our uncommons. Let's quickly go through those commons. Ooh, Fire and Ice. One of the original split cards from back in the day. Check that out. Look at that. That's an awesome card. That's one thing I do like about this uh, Master set is that you're seeing like not just legacy cards, not just modern cards. You're seeing cards that are really played in almost every format except for standard. As far as my knowledge goes, I don't think there are any standard cards in the set, thankfully. But you want to know what? So far this is shaping up to be a pretty awesome set. I'm not going to lie. Let's rip open that next pack. So we've got an elemental token, a foil hyena umbra, unholy crap, take a look at that. Noble hierarch, Oprah Winfrey herself. That's an awesome card. The amount of times I've lost games in modern just because a noble hierarch just got there by herself, uncountable, uncountable. So Hero Ivy Roas, Rolling Timberler, and Murderous Redcap as our uncommons. Quickly go through those commons. Slum Reaper, EDH All-Star right there. The amount of times I've played him in my uh, Krenko, or not Krenko Mob Boss, my Shatter Gang Brothers deck and kill the like a bunch of creatures with him. It's such a good value engine. And holy crap, this is also pretty awesome. De never saw this art for Ulamog's Crusher before. I absolutely love the Eldrazi. Those colorless borders look amazing, especially when the art is so vibrant like that. I'm right, moving on to our next pack. We've got a Venge Vine on the pack. Slice this bad boy open and let's see what we got. So elemental token, foils fume spitter and who check that out. Urborg as our rare. That's an awesome card. Great card in Commander, great card in Modern if you need some fixing or Swamp Walk for some reason. Uh, so we've got Sigil of the New Dawn, Unstable Mutation, and Brawn as our uncommons. And quickly going through those commons. Another Bloodflow Connoisseur. Cool card. Awesome cards all around. Moving on to a Lily Pack. Everyone's favorite Mono Black Planeswalker. Actually, one of the only mono black planeswalkers left in the game, considering Sauron, Sauron is white black now. Ooh, citizen token. I don't even know what makes that. And foil fiend hunter. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But I got something even nicer for you guys. Check that out. Sigarda herself, host of herons. Awesome card. Great commander, because you just cannot deal with her sometimes. Great set, great set. Ooh, Slippery Boogle, Living Lore, and Young Pyromancer as our uncommons. And moving on to the commons, we got another Think Twice, a Rider, some Umbras, Vessel of the Endless Rest. Awesome cards. I absolutely love this set. 
All right, we're almost done this pat this box, everybody. But thanks for watching. Uh, so you can find every card that I'm opening here in an online store once the set releases. That's harryt.crystalcommerce.com, I believe. We'll have the link down below or up top. Uh, so we've got a Mammoth Umbra as our foil and a Gamble as our rare. Now this art features the goblins from Ixalong, as you can tell. Look at that furry little dude. Awesome card, great reprint, I'm excited. Uh, so we've got a Chainer's Edict, the Reviving Vapors, and a Dreamscape Artist as our uncommons. And moving on to our commons, let's just go through those quickly. Another Wild Mongrel, that's awesome. A foil, oh man. So let me tell you something. If I type in this card into my store's search function for our inventory, a lot of things come up. And don't even try. <laughs> and let me tell you what happens when I search up a foil version of this. But you know, that's a story for another day. Uh, moving on to our next pack, we got another Vengevine pack. Make sure all those cards are nice and safe in the bottom before we slice it open. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Spider Token, Foil Mad Prophet. Uh, where's my foils? There they are. We've got a few of the non-foils in there. I'll fix that later. And Fauna Shaman as our rare. That is awesome art. Look at all those creatures she has with her. That's amazing. All right, moving on to her Uncommon. We've got a Lava Spike, a Hero of Iroas, and a Golgari Thug. Like two of those cards, see, he's playing modern. I'm excited. So we've got Seder Wayfinder, Crow of the Dark Tidings, another Slum Reaper, Reaper in our commons. All awesome cards. All right, let's move on to another Lily Pack. So, so far, if I remember correctly, I pulled that Tarmogoy from the Karn Pack. So I think my boy Karn has some pretty good packs, but you want to know what? Let's see what this Lily Pack has. So Elemental Token, Foil, Foil Slippery Boogle. You, you Boogles players, you guys should be excited for that. I see Rich raising up his hand in the background. He's a monster. Uh, Visions of Beyond. Re Re Degenerate combo. Visions of Beyond. Now, this was a cool card. I remember people were saying this, like, oh, this is basically Ancestral Recall for Mill, which is it, which it is. But Mill isn't exactly the strongest archetype. But you want to know what? I want to see somebody get there in a Pro Tour with Mill playing Visions of Beyond. That's my challenge to you guys. So you've got a Shriek Maw, an Anger, and a Circular Logic as our uncommons. Put those there. Quickly go through those commons. Hootie and the Mandrills. Awesome card. Ooh, God's Willing. I want to show off this art. I absolutely love that art. Like, check out Elspeth. She's getting her sword upgraded by uh, Heliod. Granted, she gets killed by him by the end of the set, but still, great card. Spoilers. Spoilers for a... Was it like five year old set, I think? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, crack open another Vengevine pack, and we're on our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on our last eight packs. So, ripping it open, we got another Spark Elemental, a Foil Lotus Eye Mystic. Awesome. And Sovereigns of Lost Alara. I've seen people play this dude in Commander, awesome card. And I think he actually saw some standard play way back in the day, but that was before me. Uh, so Heapdall, Rogue's Passage, and Urban Evolution as our uncommon. Got another Archaeomancer, hum Umbras, Eater Lions, great cards. Oh, Molten Bird, That's a, that was a funny card back in the day. So just to update uh, you, uh, Bo, and... Viewers. Of course. Uh, in 2015, mm -hmm. uh, there was a standard mill deck mm -hmm. that won the Pro Tour by Ivan Flock. Really? So someone did get there with mill. Yep. It's a. It's actually a blue white control shell, but it wins through. Mill. It wins through mill. So something yeah. like Jay's Memory Adept or something. Uh, nothing uh, to that uh, extent, but it played Azurius Charm Dissolve, Divination. Uh, Elixir of Immortality, Last Breath, Planar Cleansing, Quicken, Sphinx's Revelation, Supreme Verdict, and Syncopate. Okie So basically, it was an attrition style deck that uh, controlled it. Awesome. Sounds cool. Maybe we can check out that deck later in a future episode of the Armory. And check out our rare for this pack a Sublime Archangel. Gorgeous art. I absolutely love that art. Angels in this game always have amazing art. So Counter Squall, Devoted Druid, and Lab Maniac as an uncommon. That's crazy. What the hell? Lab Maniac as an uncommon? That was a rare. 
That's like a $15 rare. Wizards, what are you doing? That's amazing. I'm excited. This is such an awesome set. Holy crap. Lab Maniac as an uncommon. That's amazing. Oh, I think I just blew out my sound guy's ears. Sorry about that, Alex. Oh, well, he doesn't need them. <laughs> All right, next pack. Elemental, Foil, Scuzzback Marauders, and Spoils of the Vault as our rare. Cool, awesome. So, Ancestors Chosen, Rally the Peasants, and War Leaders Helix. That's, an, that's a sweet card. I have the promo of that, actually. One of my first FNM promos I ever got. Uh, Fiery Temper, Deranged Assistant, awesome, absolutely awesome commons here. All right, moving on. So we are down to our last one, two, three, four, five packs. All right, moving on, moving on. We've got another Karn pack. Let's see if my boy Karn will bring me something awesome. I'm hoping to see a Karn himself. That's such an awesome card. He's playing Shrons, he's playing EDH. Okay, so Citizen Token. Foil Angelic Renewal. Check out that art. That's beautiful. Rebecca Gway, you're an amazing artist, and I love your work. And before we move on from that angle, check out... Oh, I guess we did. Well, check out that. What is that, a $50 rare or something? What is this set? What is this set? That's crazy. Maelstrom Pulse. Another male... Or a Maelstrom Pulse. God, this box is insane. Darkmoor Savage, Spider, Malevolent Whispers. That's cool art. Look at that art. Look at that little demon. He's like, hey, dude, ch buy some Ultimate Masters. There's sweet stuff in there. That demon knows what's up. All right, put those in the uncommon slot. Quickly go through our commons. Awesome cards in this set. Man, this, this set is blowing my mind. Like, these commons are crazy. These reprints are amazing. This is like, this really is the best, the best master set. Or dare I say, the ultimate master set. So, Elemental Token, Foil Vessel. Oh, there is my boy. There he is, Tauran the Sky Summoner himself. Gonna make a bunch of drakes. I'm excited. Dawn Charm, Emancipation Angel, and Magmar. Magma. Magma, not a Pokemon. As our uncommons. Go through those commons quickly. Another Prey Upon, Demir Guild Mage, Angelic Renewal. Awesome cards. All right, so we've got our last three packs, everybody. And I think I'll save Lily for the last. So let's open these two Vengevines first. And let's hope we actually see two Vengevines. Four Vengevines in these packs. Two foils, two non-foils. Let's go for it. I believe. Okay, so Worm Token. Foil Devoted Druid. That's... Oh, my God! Okay, so Devoted Druid. And check out our boy... Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre. That's an awesome card. Sweet, absolutely amazing. When you cast him, destroy a permanent? That's crazy. That's value when you just cast a card. Not to mention that Devoted Druid. That's probably worth a decent penny, man. I think she play she's playing Legacy. Um, modern. Modern, is it? Uh, in Coco. Modern Coco. Well, sweet deck. Actually... <laughs> One of the Coco decks. So we got a Golgari Charm, an E Witness, and a Boneyard Worm as our uncommons. Moving on to our common, just quickly going through that. Man, that was that was a sweet pack. Like foil devoted drew, that must be at least like at least a five, maybe seven dollar foil. Let's put those guys in the mythic piles. So all three of our mythics are sweet. We got a Tarmogoy, a Cigarder, and an Ulamog. Alright, let's see what our next Vengevine pack brings us. I'm excited. I I don't know what it could be. It could be anything. So zombie token. Foil! Foil sleight of hand. Storm players, Tron players, come on, look at that. That's beautiful. And it's the cool art. Well, one of the cool arts. That's gorgeous. Oh, and, and we got there. For every awesome card, there's sometimes you pull a lava claw reaches. But you want to know what? Only one for the box. That's not too bad. Vengeful Rebirth, Mahat Mahadi Dajin, Plume Bale as a common, uncommons. Go through those uncommons quickly. Or commons quickly, even. And you want to know, we're on our last pack, but I want to thank everyone who watched. Thank you for watching this unboxing video. Ooh, whoa. My boss just threw me an ultimate box topper. 
So let's save that for the true last bending. And let's open this final pack of Lily before we move on to that ultimate box topper. So we've got a spider token, Wicker Brown Eldar. Oh my God, take a look at that. I was talking about early, it earlier. Look at that through the breach. Check out that art. That is gorgeous. Oh man, that's an awesome card. But as I was saying, uh, Unstable Mutation, Phalanx Leader, and Hero of Leon and Tower as our uncommons. Go through those commons. Awesome cards. Absolutely awesome cards. Now before I open up this ultimate box to topper, I want to thank everyone who's watched the video so far. Be sure to hit like down below, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and let's, ooh, I want to be careful with this guy. Yeah, let's make sure the card's in the bottom. And let's carefully snip him open. Mm -hmm. And we've got to be extra careful. So let's make sure we ump grab that card by the edge. Uh, oh my god! Vengevine! Drop it. Not touching it. Vengevine as that box topper. That's a great place to end the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Check out that Vengevine. That super art looks amazing. All right, everybody, this has been a Harry T unboxing video. I've been Bo. Uh, thank, thank you all for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.